you're calling from make your city and state famous who's out there hi demetrius hi sheree hi i heard somebody else welcome to the call december 2nd this saturday <laughs> Hey, Roz, December 2nd, welcome to the call. Fantastic, Christabel, welcome to the call. Great having you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Who else just joined us tonight? Welcome to our social media training. I'm so excited to be here again. On time for leaders is late, but I'm telling you, these people are calling during the holiday to try to sign up. Who else is out there? State your name where you're calling from. Hey, Linda, welcome to the call. Great having you. The Windy City's in the house. Welcome to the call. Who else just joined us? Let us know your name, where you're calling from. Uh, we do have a, <clears throat> a uh, live feed where we're going to chat. You could tag a teammate. You can invite your teammates right at the bottom where it says share. Um, we're going to cover how to generate some quick leads tonight um, on social media, focusing on Facebook and Instagram. And so, again, if you are on the line tonight, uh, go to Facebook.com forward slash MIT, the number one team. Well, that's not actually, you got to put groups. Just go to millionairesandtrainingteam.com so that you can stay connected with that group page. Who else just joined us tonight? State your name. We are calling from, let us know what city and state you represent, who's out there. All right, we're going to go ahead and mute this call out. Give me one second to mute the lines. Oh, I can hear myself feedback. <laughs> All right, hold on one second. All right, welcome again to our social media training. My name is Ikira Casado, and I love talking about social media. It's one of the ways that I generate my leads, and that's what we're going to talk about um, tonight is because we only have four days left in the month, we're going to really show you tonight. It's really a review because everything that I'm going to cover, we already went over. However, um, sometimes, well, not sometimes, repetition is the mother of learning, and so um, if you are on Facebook right now, go in that group page, uh, tag your teammates in the live feed that you see going. <clears throat> and also, uh, don't forget that you can also re uh, visit and replay this training. But all of this information is designed to help you to really generate some uh, leads. However, what I want to also reiterate is December 2nd, this Saturday. Raleigh, North Carolina. I don't know what anyone's intentions are in your Ameriplan business, but if you have intent on enrolling new benefit consultants and memberships, having guests at meetings is going to give you those TAM applications, which would allow us to get $800 a pop. So I'm going to give the address uh, so that we can all collectively really hone in and invite, invite, invite. It's still time, even if you have no one confirmed <clears throat> to get one guest. I would pull up the yellow pages. Get creative. I mean, I know this call is about social media, but get creative and, you know, do some different stuff. We're going to also throw in um, a little tip on Craigslist because a lot of us don't know that um, there's still ways to post for free on Craigslist, which we'll go into more detail next week, but I'll give a quick preview of next week's training, which will be a new month. It will be December, um, last month of the year, this come uh, same time next week. 
And so again, the address is 600 Glenwood Avenue. We start promptly at 1 p.m. You get there, your guests get there on time. They will get a raffle and they will, your guest has a possibility of leaving that meeting with cash in hand. And all they have to do is get through the whole meeting and stay enough time for uh, the beginning part of the training. We do it right before the training where we reveal who that winner is. Okay, so on top of the TAM applications, I mean, that's an incentive for your guests only. And all they have to do is be on time. So if you really want them to be on time, tell them that the meeting starts at 1230. But we promptly get started at 12, uh, 1 p.m. sharp. We'll have refreshments and all of that jazz. Um, shout out to all the Raleigh Tam, our team lead, Demetrius, Roslyn, um, also Michelle, Carl. Uh, we're working collectively and really hard to really build this area up. So, um, and the meetings are getting bigger. And um, we have our special guest, Carl Ryan's coming in again to close out the presentation. And let's get into the social media training. But I want to challenge you guys, seriously. If every person from the looks of this had one guess at that meeting, and then we all work collectively for the other meetings, but the rumor has it that the Raleigh TAM has been one of the number one areas that have been growing. So energy is everything. Get that energy in the building and get those TAM applications and enrollment. So anyway, let's get to it. I want to show you guys. Some really quick ways to generate some leads so that you can close out this month with a bang. And before I show my screen, I want to just go over the different ways of doing it that I'm going to show you very quickly how to do that. The number one way I believe for free on Facebook um, is Facebook job postings. Um, I, I really just want to emphasize this because... Just like if you have been around for more than four or five years in a mirror plan or any kind of marketing at all, and yet one point if you used Craigslist as much as most people did um, in the network marketing arena four or five years ago, there was this big buzz where you could post in any state for free and you would incur, I mean, hundreds of leads. Hundreds upon hundreds of leads. You can put them anywhere, in any city, in any state, in any moment, in any second. That's what we had with Craigslist. Facebook fan page group. Well, no, wait, I just said a whole bunch. Um, Facebook job postings is exactly, it reminds me and operates exactly like Craigslist, Craigslist job postings five years ago. Why? Because it's free. Don't you get the phone number, the email address, and then on top, which makes it better than Craigslist, is you can actually go through the profile of your prospect and find out, do your prospect have kids? Do your prospect live in the area? Um, what interests the prospect. And so it's a gold mine that if you have not posted at least one job posting since the first, if you, first of all, if you, you have to have a fan page, that's number one. Number two, you do need to um, have a fan page. That's all. That's the only requirement. You have to have a fan page. But if you at all, and fate, and don't get it twisted, Craigslist is still popping. You just have to pay. If you want to do a job posting on Craigslist, the only difference is you have to pay. Now, there are some other ways that you don't have to pay, but it's not going to generate you the rapid leads that I'm talking about. I'm talking about leads when you wake up tomorrow morning, you have some people to talk to. That's what I'm talking about. Because remember, we have three steps. We learn this all the time on Wednesday with Demetrius on his how-to train. All we do is generate leads. We call people back and we enroll them. That's it. So you have to figure out where you're best at. If you're not good at generating leads, then you and you have a fan page not doing job postings. It's like shooting yourself in the foot and then saying, I don't have anybody to talk to. I don't know how to work my computer. Listen, you can do a job posting from your phone. I've done it. And you can renew, meaning that if you can get, okay, let me back up because I'm getting excited. If you 
do a job posting. Let's say one job posting gets popping. Now, all your job postings are not going to be popping because some things connect and some don't. Your wording might be off. Your wording might not be off, you know. Um, it might be on point. It might not be on point. So what happens, um, you can post a an unlimited amount of job postings, and then when that one starts popping and you keep getting more hits and applications from that one posting, the really great thing about it is that you're able to... Um, to monitor to and renew, meaning that you don't have to keep doing more ads. All you have to do is click the renew button and they actually remind you. They say, hey, Zakira, your ad is about to expire in two days. Do you want to renew or delete? And if the ad isn't popping, I still don't delete them. But uh, my point is, is that if you post 10 ads tonight, let's say you go, stop you copy paste, you do whatever you, and all ads are not approved. However, the ones that are approved, um, you know, you can renew them is my point. My point is you don't have to keep writing out a new ad each and every time that you want to post on Facebook and do a job posting. It's not a requirement. Okay. They have a renew button, which allows you to renew like this. I don't know if y'all can hear this on the phone if you're listening. Just like that. So if you have not done a Facebook job posting, please do one today and do one for Raleigh, North Carolina. You could even put the street, the adjacent streets that you can put is Glenwood Avenue and West Johnson Street. Glenwood Avenue and West Johnson Street. If you decide to do a Facebook Craigslist ad by yourself, it's only $25. And at the bottom, it has a map area, just like on Facebook. And when you put the zip code or the streets that adjacent from each other, that's parallel where it is, it will post the ad in the, the eyes and get the attention of those who are in that area. So if you haven't done job posting yet, I shouldn't even continue with the training. Because at the end of the day, None of this information means anything unless you monetize. I'm trying to tell you all these job posting ads work. Second thing that I think that, or that I don't think, that I know will get you some leads, and this is for your personal pages, and you can use this on your Instagram as well, is, on, is sharing promotions, sharing activity. Um, there is a lady in a mayor plan named Maria Rappa. She posted her check for $2,500. It said October 31st. That's what it said. October 31st. That was less than two months ago. Is that even too much? October 31st? November. It's not even a month old. Do you think that would excite somebody? You probably got a good six months with that picture. You think I don't use that picture? Is she in my downline? Am I in her upline? No, we're cross line. Lorraine Brown Watkins, our national vice president, she just went sapphire. I don't know what in the world happened on Instagram, but that thing got over 140 likes and shares. It went not viral. I wouldn't consider that viral, but it, it's popping on Instagram. Then on Facebook, people are coming. I don't even know some of those people who shared the picture on there. If you haven't shared that picture on your timeline, I mean, you're missing out because all you got to say is congratulations to my nap, to one of our national vice president, my national vice president, one of my business partners. You could even put our team is, is on fire. Easy leads, easy leads. People like, wait, and the whole description is there. It explains the money. You got to understand if you're a sapphire, that means you done made $2,000. Do you understand what I'm saying? You made $2,000. Okay, if you're a sapphire, that means you don't build your residual up. That means the next ten, the next two thousand dollars, she's gonna get an extra two thousand five hundred dollars. Y'all following the money? People calculate, especially around the holidays time. You could share that picture and say, "Anybody need some holiday money? Everybody need holiday money, and want holiday money." Okay. Anyway, next thing is hashtags. We've talked about this so many times. 
this works on Facebook, but on Instagram, it is like the path of getting where you want your ad to be. I hope that makes sense. So I'm, I'm explaining it to you. A few, now I'm not going to explain it. I'm just going to give you some hashtags. If you're, if you're not writing this down, grab a pen and paper, hurry up. But things like hashtag, hashtag, S-A-H-M, that's stay at home mom. Hashtag, work at home, W-A-H-M, work at home mom. Hashtag, entrepreneur, hashtag, um, work from home, hashtag home office, hashtag business opportunity, hashtag part-time work, hashtag, hashtag, whatever you would call this opportunity, hashtag opportunity, hashtag Raleigh, hashtag Wake County, hashtag North Carolina, hashtag NC, hashtag Brooklyn, hashtag um, uh, uh, New Jersey, hashtag Cherry Hill, hashtag more money, hashtag extra money, hashtag um, abundance of money, hashtag thank you, Jesus, hashtag whatever, hashtag Thanksgiving, <laughs> hashtag the holidays, hashtag holiday pay, whatever you can think of that will connect the dots to people that you're looking for. Does that make sense? Okay. Hashtag. Now, in groups. I'm going to give some advice to people who are using groups as a way of getting to people because it's it's a remarkable tool. But a lot of us is getting blocked, you know. I'm not the only one. I know Jermaine always gets blocked. I know um, a few of us get blocked. They inbox me, ask questions. So this is a couple things that I've noticed. And I'm totally, I don't have it down pack. I'm not going to pretend like I know exactly all the ways. I know that Facebook is trying to work on it. But two, a few things that would get you blocked is if you're posting, like say if you post in a food group about your AmeriPlan business, or if you post in a gardening group about your low cost dental, that's going to easily get you flagged. Okay. Certain groups have rules that you have to follow or they're going to report your, your behind, okay? And so in order to avoid being reported, you have to stay in groups that, are, that have no rules and regulations to talking about your mirror plan business or your services. All groups are not just free range and territory for you to post there. Also, you could have what we call trolls. Um, what a troll is, is, and then we're going to talk about on a business standpoint, somebody could flag you because they're in competition with you. They're in a different company. Um, and there's no way to really monitor that. And so what I would do is find new groups, okay? And instead of resharing, resharing works if you have not been blocked. If you don't get blocked like every, more than once a month, if you get blocked like once a month, don't do resharing. Resharing does work. I still believe in resharing. However, until Facebook figures this thing out where people don't get blocked for just apparent no reason, um, don't reshare. Post. I know Rosalind posts all the time, meaning she doesn't reshare. She goes into the group, whether she copies and pastes, she posts the picture in each group. Or she posts a comment in each group. Um, from my experience, after being um, blocked many times, that seems to work better. Okay? Um, and so that's my advice to you. However, I would limit your posting in groups tremendously if you have ever been blocked. Like, I mean, low. Like at one point, I could post 45 to 50 you know, post in a group in a day. Now I'm doing like five or 10, but the main thing is you want to protect yourself by finding new groups. Okay. Finding new groups. There's millions probably by now. I know, I know for sure it's hundreds of thousands, but there's probably millions of groups that you can be in 
Um, groups are created all the time, new groups on a consistent basis. So job postings, again, the number one, don't miss out on the opportunity before Facebook get hip and say, wow, let me go ahead and start charging y'all to post these Facebook posts. I mean, these job posts, they're completely free. You can put them anywhere. The second thing is sharing promotions, sharing activity, sharing anything. I don't care what it is. I go on other people's pages and I will take those pictures and put it for myself. I sure will. That Maria Rappa picture, if you don't know who she is, she was a diamond last month. October 31st is what that check says. Nobody don't got to know she's not on your team. I mean, that's marketing. She is on your team. In a sense, she's a part of a man plan. That's like somebody in Burger King having a different franchise and not talking about the Whopper. And that's the number one seller. That's the one that's popping. Or that's the one that had some, that store had some, no, heck no. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not going to tell them to contact her. I ain't no dummy. But I'm going to use that testimony because it's, because stories sell. Facts tell, remember that. Facts tell, stories sell. Facts tell, stories sell. Facts. Just tell, but story sell. So use that story. Lorraine Brown Watkins just went sapphire. She put a G in her pocket line. Let me just take this little thousand. Let me put this thousand up here. Yeah, boom. From five transactions. That's a total of 10. Oh, gosh. Please share. If you haven't shared it on your page, I'm about to go share it again. Why? Because it's proactive. Last thing is uh, hashtags, whatever you want. However you see your business and what, how the type of people you want to find, you want to work at home moms, you want senior citizens, you want uh, retirees, hashtag, just put the hashtag in front of whatever you want. And then groups, just beware of groups. They work very well. Don't listen to me in regards to being like conservative until you get your first, um, your first block. <laughs> and then you start getting conservative. But if you ain't been blocked, Go for it. 40, 50 posts you could do in a day. Go for it. So I'm going to show y'all how to do this real quick. Uh, how do I do this? How do I show y'all this? All right. So let's do it. First things first is our, and, and shout out to Demetrius again for those $2 um, restaurant gift cards. I'm sending out emails for Cyber Monday and telling people if they sign up today, they can get them a $25 gift certificate. So rack up on there, especially if you're going to be in Raleigh, because that's how we get our discounts from where we go. So boom, first thing first is job postings. Again, you have to have a fan page. So the fan page I'm going to go to is my seven figure mommy page. Okay. And... Oh, I just seen Demetrius sharing the, um, see what I'm saying? Y'all playing around with this information. Okay, put, boom, jobs. Okay. Post here. They already put this here. I'm going to change this picture. Show you how to do a quick job posting. I think I'm going to use that wallet. But you can literally put and add and have people take this out and put earn holiday, uh, earn extra holiday income for the holidays. I actually don't really wear. Glenwood Avenue. See that? Boom. I'm going to say 276. No, we want 27603. Raleigh. See? It's a difference. We'll put 45,000. That would be dope to put that per hour. <laughs> but we're going to keep it real with dollar bill and just say, let's start you off there. Interview. 
do this Saturday, 1 p.m. Call to schedule. Remember, the less you say, the more you make. Schedule. Oh, Lord, I got to show you all the other stuff in five minutes, your appointment. If you're on a line, I'm not just like appointment. Okay. Group interviews this Saturday. Wait, why did that put that together? I didn't ask you. Sometimes that call to schedule your appointment now. Porn. Eight eight. Boom. I'm not going to answer. You can put three questions, but I'm not going to do that for the sake of time. You can put the email, whatever email you want for the applications to come to to remind you the benefit consultant uh, I really like that picture but let's see if I have another one on here I won't belabor it but if hmm, I like that one uh, it has to be bigger That's not big enough either. Hmm. All right, I'm, I might need another five minutes to show you all the other stuff, but um, we'll just keep that for now. You can always change it. John, what else am I missing? I'm not missing anything else, I don't think. Um, if it ever says invalid email, it may just mean that you made a space. Don't put a space. Hit publish. And that's it. Okay. Um, and that will go right on your page. Okay, that's how you do a job posting. Next thing is sharing promotions on uh, the millionaires and training team fan page which is different from the group page um i think well demetrius just shared it so we'll use his for example This is the last, one of the last posts that we posted um, with Lorraine going Sapphire. And as you can see here, folks is getting it. I mean, they sharing it. And as you can see here, Dimitri, oh, he's also sharing it in groups as well. So I can show you the groups. That's one way you can do it where you're sharing it. That's resharing. He has his information. Um, it's going to, this will go directly to him. Um, and boom. Boom. And he just copied, he copied and pasted, which is smart. That's sharing. Last thing is hashtags. Let me show y'all hashtags real quick. I know we got one minute left. But just give me five more minutes. If you got to go, I understand. I got to show y'all this. I don't want anybody. Uh, let's see. Um, how do I get to? Let's see. Millionaires. Here we go. Boom. Yes, you can look at stuff on Instagram, but look, it's hashtags. I used here MLM. Let me zoom in for you, so you can see this. Oops. Ah, where'd it go? Go back. Come back. Uh, maybe zoomed in too much. Okay. See what? Where'd it go? Okay. I won't zoom in that much. I guess it's all right. So you see MLM. 
Raleigh, New Jersey, Cherry Hill, Get Free with MIT, Lesson Leadership, Network Marketing, Market, Marketing, Jumpstart, Residual Income, Work from Home, Blessings, Winner, S A H M W A H M. Contact us. That's Lorraine. Um, look at how many likes. I mean, 141 people like that post, and that's causing traction. Okay. Um, and last thing, we showed you groups also. But you can also post in those groups as well. So if you went to a group, like I'll give you an example. If you're on your computer, and give me just one more minute. Give me another minute. Let's say if I go here. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Uh, let's say here. Okay, I just copied this, right? I copied the link from the top. Now let's say I go to a group. You can go to groups this way. Are they serious? Uh, hmm. Say I go here. And put. Mm, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I want to do something else. I'm going to go to the TAM. Right. You can go here. For those of you that's on the line, thank you for your patience. If you are, you have to go, I understand, but it will be done in about one minute, maybe two minutes. I'm going to go back to that group. What I did was just go and get the um, TAM app. And let's see, let me find a group to post. to my good old friend some posts need to be approved this post will need to be approved however I know he'll approve it uh, shout out to Steve if I ever get there all right I'm just gonna go here okay boom Wrong with my computer. Act right. All right, sometimes you just got to refresh. Your computer is not human. Even humans need to get refreshed sometimes. But I think my computer is stuck right now. And I really hope you guys can hear me. What happened? Come on, get it together. There you go, babes. We believe in you. All right, so... What I showed you, what Demetrius did, was a reshare. This is a actual just posting in each group. Um, I'm going to put healthcare opportunities group interview sessions call one eight eight eight. I'm so scared to post in groups. To be honest with you, like I'm terrified to post in groups nowadays because I don't know what in the world's going to happen. Anyway, so that's that's our training for tonight. I'm going to open up the lines to see if we have any questions. Let's see if we have any questions. Any questions tonight about tonight's training? Any questions? Any questions?
face with y'all. You don't have to be encouraged that way. If you put a comment, sometimes I don't see it until after the training call. I don't know why. Um, but I do. I just don't see it sometimes. It could be because I'm on the phone, in the group, on the computer, in the group. I'll go up here and see if we see any comments. But this kind of confuses the computer, I think. Any questions? And I don't see questions. See what I'm saying? Let me see four comments here, but on my phone I see like eight. So any questions tonight before we wrap this call up? Any questions? All right, well, don't forget that tomorrow, not tomorrow, this Saturday, this Saturday, we will be in Raleigh, North Carolina, okay? 600 Glenwood Avenue, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27603. Let's get some guests here. Let's close some business out. Let's talk about the plan. It's Cyber Monday. People are spending money. Um, let them know that they can go ahead and get a $25 gift card. They sign up today. Do whatever you got to do to get some enrollment. On top of that, you get those TAM applications by just inviting guests. Pick up the yellow pages. Let's have some people there. Um, with that being said, don't forget tomorrow night is a training call all about the benefits with our national vice president. It's going to cover some exciting information so that you can continuously um, bring on the blight, blood, and stability of your business, which is those memberships, people. I still have members from the same month that I got started that's on the books because they love it, they need it, they keep it, and can afford it. And so don't forget about that training call tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Um, again, uh, see you guys this Saturday. Next week we will cover uh, free posting on Craigslist that you might be overlooking and um, how to actually maximize off of that as well. You guys have a blessed afternoon, or well, afternoon, evening, and God bless everyone. Looking forward to a bang out week. Last week of the month, anything can happen. Make it happen. Reach your goals, and we'll see you at the top. See you guys on the next training call tomorrow night, same not time, number, and pen. Good night, everybody. Number one team. Am I too? Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you so much. Bye. December 2nd. December 2nd is going down. Good night.